What's cracking, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more acid techno, and we're back with another tune from the mighty Skankadelic label, though it's sort of an anomalous Skankadelic release, and that it's, I think, the only one, cert there can't be more than two, I think it might be the only Skankadelic release uh, that does not feature uh, the, the sonics of Mr. Burns or the Geezer. Uh, it's a release that is entirely done by Dave Lelouch, aka DDR. Um, super dope acid techno producer I've been listening to since the 90s, you know, uh, his alias Trip Hazard um, was one of the first, you know, sort of acid techno um, uh, sounds that I got into. I mentioned it before, you know, like Chris Liberator, The Geezer, Dave the Drummer, and DDR. I sort of discovered them all kind of at the same time in the mid-90s. Um, and yeah, I'm a big fan of his tunes. I eventually met him, um, Jose Lethal One. Um, he, they are very good friends from what I understand. And um, DDR is often out here and visiting with Jose. And one of the times he was out here, they threw a party and DDR did one of his live sets. I've seen him do a couple now that I think about it. Um, I forget like which one, like which two parties they were. Um, but yeah, I've seen him do a couple live sets and he just kills it. He's on the controller and he's playing tunes that I have on vinyl, but sort of blending them with his other tunes in a way that you know, is just fantastic. Um, and he's a very funny guy. Like um, I, I think I've told this story before, but just to quickly retell it, um, at the end of one of those parties where before his set, I had actually gotten to talk to him for a while. It was like you know half an hour. We were talking about acid techno and the history of the genre and the, you know the evolution of the scene and sort of the way some producers went away from the um, genre but some of them have come back to it uh, which is very awesome but yeah he had some really cool opinions and ideas about acid techno as a genre and as sort of an ethos uh, and then like after his set I remember when I was leaving I was saying laters to everyone it was like later Jose and I think Tony um, hung low as he is known on Facebook uh, he I think he was there as like later Tony and then DDR, he like put out his hand and was like, all right, Dave, later, man. And he moved, he did one of those legit, like down low, too slow things on me. So I got down low, too slowed uh, by Dave DDR, um, classic. But no, um, shout out to him. Uh, like I said, really cool guy, really interesting uh, opinions about acid techno and so on. So yeah, this is his release for Skankadelic. I'm trying to remember what number this is. Um, shout out to Skankadelic, the label once again. Um, one of my all-time favorite acid techno labels, despite how short-lived it was. Um, this is from 2005. I think it's one of the later ones. Um, does it say? I don't see the cat number here. Maybe the cat number is written in the groove, as is sometimes the case. Um, man, I think that is... No, that just... Oh, 14. So, okay, yeah, there were 15 total. This is the last... Um, or penultimate, sorry, this is the penultimate uh, Skankadelic. So we're going to listen to a tune called um, Bang Goes the Bass. Um, I really do enjoy both tunes on this. They, they have that Dave the, um, Dave the Drummer, they have that Dave Lelouch DDR uh, style, which is to say it's like wicked, like a lot of his tunes have this sort of wicked acid techno mixed with kind of a funky sound, um, and I think this release really much, or uh, very much hits that. So here we go, this is DDR, uh, bang goes the bass on Skinkadelic 2005. Uh, and yes, my copy has a little mileage on the front end, but it gets better, I promise. So, you know, when you have a record like this where you know the edge has a bit of surface noise or pops, like you just don't start with it. You mix into it, and you know, usually by the first 64, or the first 128. The surface noise or pops will decrease a bit. Again, it's, it's got a wicked sort of mischief to it, but it's also already funky, especially with that vocal. I'd 
more traditionally said creaking synth when it's kind of like offset from the kick drum and it's like kind of has a like a creak or like a like loose metal but this is a little more rattly it's like the acid groove. Oh, I love that. Hang in the air, dead pause, flash of the sample, right back in with the hard, like, dirty, acid funky character. But no, um, like I said, it just has this mischief with a funky uh, quality. Sounds like you know, it's like the acid is stretched or like it's a turbo boost that's like whoop, whoop. Playing with the vocal, like chopping it, syncopating it. If you 
love the acid sound. It's hard to imagine that people wouldn't like Skankadelic. Or DDRs too, for that matter. It's sort of an interesting skankadelic release because neither Mr. Burns of the Geezer are heard on the record, but I love that DDR shows up uh, on this legendary label. Um, so shout out to him once again. Shout out to the short live, but you know, incredibly memorable um, and legendary label. Um, let me know if there's another tune on this label overall or the flip side of this record. We're going to get to the flip side eventually, but do let me know if it's something you'd like to hear sooner rather than later. Um, other than that, thank you for listening and watching. I do appreciate it. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Peace.